You're invited. Friday, June 2nd, from 1 to 3.30 p.m. in the gym, just right below me. What are you invited to? We're celebrating literacy. This is the first literacy celebration with the ninth HIS Reads and the second HIS Writes. It's the marriage of Reads and Writes. HIS Writes in its second year has seven stories, seven finalists, and seven judges. HIS Reads has 16 books, 16 contestants, and five judges. Let's take a look at the HIS Reads Suite 16. Some amazing competition this year. In our Sweet 16, not only do we have 16 amazing defenders of reading, we have three former champions. And that's our bracket. It's a single elimination competition. It's head to head. And judging that competition will be our five judges. Let's take a look at our first judge now, Mr. Mernon. Take a moment to read about Mr. Mernon's interests in reading. Okay, and in this competition, every match counts. You have to win every round to move forward. In the first match, we have our former champion, Miyako Kamak, versus last year's fourth place, Theo Brennan. In the qualifiers, there's an upset. Theo was beat, but he did get selected to the finals. Let's see if he can prove his worth as a finalist this year once again um, against a very formidable competitor in last year's champion. Our next judge is an alumna, Miss Anna Stepanova. Please read about her reading interests. I taught Anna in my first and second year at HIS, and she was a wonderful literature student, very successful, and she's come back to visit for a while and asked to be a part of the judging, and I gladly accepted, and we even invited somebody special in her life, her fiancé, Mr. Clement Foucault. I hope I got that close to right. Please read about his interests. Now let's take a look at our next two matchups. Matchup number two, Hanakatayama versus Aina. Two great friends, but in this matchup, we have another former champion. Hana Katayama was the first and so far only middle school champion. She won HIS Reads when she was in seventh grade in 2018. I believe this is her sixth finals. That's pretty amazing. And now her first matchup is against one of her closest friends. Let's see if that friendship will help or hurt their case. At the end, reading wins. Our next matchup is another former champion, Julie May, winner of the 2021 finals, goes against Marie. Can Marie pull out an upset or can Julie prove that she is back and ready to move forward to reclaim her title? We have two more judges. Let's take a look at the next one. Dr. Raduka Nagy. She's also a dorm parent with us and she's a, not only a voracious reader, but a very successful and talented writer. Please read about her back. And let's take a look at the next two matchups. Celia and Aiden. Celia is uh, new to HIS this year. She's come for a great experience to live in a different place, experience a dorm. And she 
um, shocked the nation. She shocked her qualifying round, beating out Theo Brennan, um, earning her the fourth seed right behind the three returning champs. Facing off against her is Aiden in his last year at HIS before he moves across, way across the water. Um, we've pulled him up from the honorable mentions uh, for the strong recommendations from the judges to see if he has what it takes to take on the fourth seed. Up fifth, we have Zachary and Jury. I think you'll get to see Zachary's name a few times for our literacy celebration. Hope that didn't spoil anything. Um, he's a very strong defender. He's also a middle schooler. And Jury is coming as an 11th grader, um, defending a book with passion and with skill, who will come out atop the fifth and 12th seed competition. Rounding out our judges, I introduce Mr. Tim Schlosser, also our head of school and avid reader and writer. Please read about his background. And now let's take a look at matchup six and seven. Both wonderful writers, G.U. and Julius, are matched up against each other in this reading defense competition. Clearly, reading and writing must go together pretty well. Two middle schoolers. Our next matchup pits a middle schooler against a high schooler, Jiwoo versus Michelle. Who will win this middle school, high school battle? And that brings us to our last matchup for round number one. The winners of round number one would move forward um, into the second level, defending uh, their book with the round two criteria. But let's take a look at this last matchup. We have Yeun versus Hane. Hane was in the finals last year. Yeun, I believe, was an honorable mention, very close. And now um, they're seated very closely. It looks like this could be one of the closest competitions uh, for round one of HIS Reads. So that's a little bit of an introduction to what you can expect Friday, June 2nd from 1 p.m. In our literacy celebration, we're also celebrating writing. HIS Writes has seven finalists. They don't even know who they are. They competed through the middle school creative writing. There is an open entry for all secondary, and we received numerous entries, um, upwards of 30, and seven were selected. And of those seven, we also have seven judges. I would like to introduce our first judge, Miss Lane Cunningham. Lane came to us um, through the Tenjinyama Artist Studio. She was doing a residency there, and she was introduced to us by Miss Ogawa, the, the director there. And she came into the creative writing class and she provided some tips and uh, a lot of helpful advice for the semester one class, and she also agreed to be a judge for HIS rights. Please read about her background. Our next judge, again, Dr. Rado Ganegi, we look at her from the writing perspective. Many of you may not know this, but she's an incredibly successful novelist, along with an anthropologist and prof professor, and you can see a little bit, little snippets of that um, as she humbly writes about her background. Please take a moment to read about her as a writer.
coming next, we have her better or worse half. We'll leave that up to you or to them to discuss. Um, Mr. Neil McLean also has a lot of experience in writing. Please read about the experiences that he has had um, before joining us at HIS. And our next judges, another wife and husband team, I introduce the first one, Karen Miller. Karen is a professional writer. You can read about her work in her biography. Please do. And the one in the background in that beautiful photo and another beautiful photo possibly taken by me is Mr. Bo Miller, and he's working for the State Department, the U.S. Consulate in Sapporo. And before that, he had great experience in freelance writing and also as an editor in Tokyo. Please read about his experience. We have two final judges, our head of school and also a passionate writer, Mr. Tim Schlosser. Please read about his experience as a writer and his interest. And last but not least for HIS Rights, uh, present Mr. Hiroki Finn Hoshino. working over at the Niseko side of HIS. Hiro also has a lot of other experience, um, including narration of audiobooks and great success um, getting his stories published. He's a, a short story writer. He's, you can see in his bio that he'd like to take on a full novel, but he's had great success in short stories and it was wonderful to have him as our final judge. So now that you've got an introduction to our first literacy celebration, please join us to find out who will be the ultimate defender of reading, to find out who will tell the most captivating story. All of this happens Friday, June 2nd, 1, 2, 3, 30 p.m. with some announcements at 3 for the HIS Rights Fund. Celebrate literacy together. You're invited.